Uh, good morning. So I've got an update for Territorians and particularly the Tannock Creek community who I know are uh, in their lockdown and they're anxiously awaiting updates. We have nine new cases of COVID-19 in the Northern Territory that have been verified in the last 24 hours. Seven of these cases are in the Tannock Creek Barclay region. Uh, all of them are at the Whooper camp and one is uh, a resident from Tannock Creek. So not in any remote communities, all in that uh, Tennant Creek facility, but we are very concerned about this outbreak and uh, our teams are working around the clock to make sure that we have testing, we're delivering vaccine uh, and making sure the community is kept safe. And I thank everybody in the Tennant Creek region for their compliance. Our police have uh, reported largely um, good compliance and so we thank them for that. I'll just go through um, the seven cases in Tennant Creek. The other two cases are in the Centre for National Resilience uh, and I'll provide some details uh, after I go through the Tennant Creek cases. Um, so the Tennant Creek cases, um, the first case is a lady in her 60s. She's from Whooper Camp. Um, she has some pre-existing vulnerabilities um, and she's quite unwell. She's been transferred to the Tennant Creek Hospital. Uh, the second lady is in her 50s and she is also from Whooper Camp and she has also been transferred to the Tennant Creek Hospital. We also have a female and male in their 40s um, from that same town camp uh, and they've been transferred to the Alice Springs Hospital for their medical care. Uh, we also have additional cases, um, a male and female in their 20s uh, and they're at the Tennant Creek Hospital. Um, then we have um, a child um, who is from Tennant Creek um, and is a known household um, contact. We believe that all of these cases are linked to the Catherine Cluster, so we're working through that um, in terms of the, the genomic sequencing and, and uh, trying to establish that link, but everything points to that. The process is that um, the individuals have all been identified in that Whopper Town Camp. We have tested every resident of that um, town camp uh, since this cluster became apparent. Um, people um, are in isolation and then we work through whether they need to go to the Tannock Creek Hospital, or whether they're transferred to Alice Springs. Um, so considering these case numbers in Tennant Creek, we are actively considering extending that lockdown, uh, but we haven't made a final decision on that. We will get more information from our health teams, our chief health officer and our territory controller, and that decision will be made tomorrow. But it does look likely that we will extend that lockdown. The two other cases that I just spoke about are both in the Centre for National Resilience and they are international returned travellers and they're from that Johannesburg flight from the 12th of December. So we've seen quite a number of cases off that flight um, and they um, have also seen Omicron from those. So we'll do the genomic sequencing on those cases and then update the community but there's two more positives from there. Um, and as I just said, they're in the Centre for National Resilience so they're of very low risk to the territory community. Um, and so that's 10 cases from that flight. So that uh, has certainly seen a number of flights. Um, I'll also just provide an update on a case that was previously announced in the Centre for National Resilience. It was a case of a Singapore flight. Um, further testing and work has um, been provided and it's been declared that that was a old case of COVID um, that was picked up. So that is no longer a, a case and that will be removed from the territory records. Um, so that um, will be delisted. In total, we've got 236 close contacts in the Northern Territory at present. 183 have been successfully contacted and are isolating, and we've also received 153 negative tests. So we just work through, um, as we do the um, interviews with people that are testing positive, they provide us with information. So you see those close contacts going up and down, uh, but that's the situation presently. Most um, of those, um, have been uh, in terms of contact. Um, we've had teams working through the weekend, so we'll, we'll keep doing that. Um, we had a number of contacts moved from Central Australia to the Centre for National Resilience yesterday um, from both uh, Yalara and Tennant Creek. And I understand there'll be more people transferred from Tennant Creek up to the Centre for National Resilience at Howard Springs today. Uh, so um, just in terms of Tennant Creek, um, it is obviously a significant situation there. We'll keep working with the community, um, but I would like to acknowledge that after two days of lockdown, the community has been very compliant and we thank them um, for their cooperation in these efforts to keep the community safe. Um, we have had some infringement notices issued um, in Barunga um, and some public health order breaches um, for people not wearing their masks, which of course is disappointing. 
Um, the reason the mask mandate was put in place through some of those communities, we just want to make absolutely sure that there is no further cases. We would, um, you know, we didn't want to take that mask um, away and then suddenly next week heading into Christmas see cases appear. So it really is in the community's best interest. So please follow the Chief Health Order directions. Um, and the Chief Health Officer uh, directions, they're not a guideline, they're the law, and so penalties will be issued. We've had a very much an educative approach um, since the beginning of the pandemic, but if people are blatantly going to um, refuse to wear masks and follow those directions, then they will be issued an infringement notice. Oh, sorry, in Tennant Creek, I didn't mention that we've done 330 tests in Tennant Creek in the past 24 hours. Um, so that's a significant number of tests. Um, we have had our Aboriginal medical organisation, Anangining, out on the ground delivering vaccine along with NT Health. Um, we have delivered a small number of vaccines, but we really want to see that vaccine number rise. Um, in terms of the vaccine, COVID is in the Tennant Creek community. If you get vaccinated, it is um, the best tool to keeping you, your loved ones and your community safe. And it's not too late. And there won't be any questions asked when you turn up for vaccine. Please just come forward and get vaccinated and also make sure you get your second shot and if you're eligible, your booster shot. So a really important message for the community of Tannock Creek. We're really pleased with 330 tests, but we need to see that vaccine rate increase. Um, and it will certainly, if we see that rate lifting, it will help us as we make some tough decisions over the coming days. Um, so we will continue to, to be on the ground in Tannock Creek, um, in Whopper Town Camp, um, offering people that vaccine, uh, making sure that people are receiving um, everything that they need. Um, and in terms of territory-wide, we still need Territorians. Um, make sure if you're due for your uh, second dose or your booster, please come forward um, for those vaccinations, particularly through the Christmas period. You may have a, a little bit of time. Um, please make sure you get it. And particularly if you are intending to travel, don't think it's something I'll wait till I get back from travelling. It's really important that you have um, that before you travel. So that's the update for the community. Um, I'm happy to take any questions.